Well, my name is Red Grant. I'm an American comedian. Been in the game 22 years since I was a 19 year old boy. I work viciously hard to be at the point where I'm at. In today's interview that I heard, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. You know, it's been a long week since last Friday to this Friday, a long seven days. First of all, my brother Cat Williams is a good friend of mine. He was also the person who drove me, aka we laugh about, he Ubered me to uh, V103 that morning. Because I asked him to. And the type of guy he is, he's just a giving guy. You know, he's just a good person. So that morning, he was up before me, already pepped and hyped, taking me to the radio. We get to the radio, get some coffee with the owner of the Atlanta Comedy Theater. I don't drink coffee, so I tell him, fuck coffee. I don't drink that shit. <clears throat> Cat didn't even want to go upstairs. He said, I just walk up there. He's sitting in the green room with me. Wanda Smith comes in there, she speaks to me with love and happiness like she always does. Shout out to Wanda Smith. And then she his cat with shade immediately. And it was a weird feeling because you give me a hug, you don't give cat a hug. I don't know, you know, maybe y'all got something between y'all, but you know. All these people that say they care about the black community man just won an Emmy and you don't speak and say congratulations brother on your Emmy brother <clears throat> so she can she proceeds to say boy you going on the radio with us huh and Cap was like no it's Red's interview I'm not going even in the station I'm just here to chill boy get your butt in here get in here Get in here! I'm like, why is she talking to Cat like a little boy? You know, sometimes people gotta understand respect. We don't have a lot of respect in our community. But that was just showing what type of viciousness she had already planned. Now, I don't have to do this, what I'm doing right now. I'm doing this because I feel like a lot of y'all just talking and y'all don't know what y'all talking about. And y'all can put a lot of y'all, y'all can be y'all or whoever the y'all is. I really don't give a fuck. I'm a red grand American comedian. Take my crap very seriously. Been in 11 movies. Done seven specials. Who gives a fuck? Who really gives a fuck? Everybody talking about respect and all that shit. Who gives a fuck? People are so disrespectful in their respect. How you gonna be so much you respectful and disrespectful at the same time? People be talking, they don't know what the fuck they talking about. Period, point blank, nothing. So Cat comes in the studio, puts the headphones on and everything. And here she go, taking shots at my man, about his kids. He takes his headphones off, he leaves again. They send a producer after him. He comes back in there. 
he sits down, he's quiet, which you, you see what happens after that, the interview starts, and that's what happened. Well, now what you don't see is during the break, when they're going back and forth at each other. And it's fun, everybody's laughing, you know. But where it went wrong is just, certain people say certain things out their mouth, <clears throat> and you know it's disrespectful. Everybody know Chad has history with the law, so why bring up the law if you know that's the history? Because if you bring up what's the history, you're going to bring up your real shit, and which he did. You're going to talk about that man hair, you're going to talk about off camera the kids. Mm -mm. Some things just don't need to be said. So, of course, that happened. Next night, of course, we don't know what happened that night. I was on stage, so I can't say. But it was cameras everywhere. It was witnesses everywhere. And I'm pretty sure if you talk to any witness out there, they're going to tell you the same fucking story. It ain't nobody ran out and a gun fell out their pocket. And that's just messed up. Anyway, this don't sound right. Anyway. You know, a lot of things got riled up that day after the interview. But what I don't understand is after the interview, Tiffany called my phone and asked me, Red, what's Kat's number? I haven't talked to Tiffany in a while, but I said, I'll make sure he gives you a call. Called her back and let her know Cat will be calling her. He FaceTimed Tiffany. They laughed and joked and it was jovial and he explained what he, you know, was trying to say to her <coughs> about her at the time and <coughs> what examples he was trying to set. And everybody was laughing. He apologized to her then and everything was cool. Well, I guess after today's interview, we realized that Tiff is still pretty upset. And, uh, you know, she got a right to be upset. But don't be fake upset. You feel me? Don't get an apology, you know on FaceTime and at the Emmys and now you go on the radio with K Hart who I got a lot of respect for and love and say what you I, I just I don't understand it. Did you fuck his boyfriends? That nigga ain't nowhere near fucking gay. And that shit was that shit weird. Is that your throw out? I'm, I'm confused, yo. Everybody told me they want peace in the comedy community. The comedy community has always been about competition. Let me say this to the comedy community. We got a lot to growing to do. Got a lot of love to give. Got a lot of jokes to tell, a lot of laughs to do. But let's keep it 100. Every comedian don't fuck with every comedian. It's sad, but it's true. And uh, some of the statements today is like, I'm like, fucking cat on drugs, kid. Come on, kid. You never seen fucking cat do no fucking drugs, my nigga. Drugs? Weed? Good weed. Cheaper? 
bus and throw you ain't gonna throw my gaps under the bus the drugs oh man it's almost like a, a relationship with a person that you cheat on they never really forgive you they they act like they love you but they never really really love you again so you know i guess you know what you do in the past will will chase you you know i'm just like man and yeah you are the number one comedian in the world kid the biggest motherfucker in the world and i'm proud of it come a long way from little kid but this dick slinging shit that's going on is really distasteful to me but i ain't gotta like the taste that's coming out people's mouths i'm just red grant just a regular comedian But I don't have nothing but jokes. I will act them. I can act too. I'll act all these things. But it ain't about acting and what you can do. It's where God puts you. And I think people forget about God in this situation. So let's bring God into this real quick. Because we know God is is the creator of all of this so at the end of the day i'm gonna say like this i'm not gonna say who the best and who the worst and who the nothing and that not that i'm just gonna say we gotta give each other respect as we fight for our own respect. <laughs> and Charlemagne, yeah, I know you don't know one of my jokes, but what you're doing is insane, my brother. And I know you like to start shit. And I definitely know you like Kev more than you like Cat just in your conversations and the things you say. But don't be a fuck boy when you're doing it. Be, a, be, be, be you. Be your real self, my nigga. And if fuck boy shit is what you want, then all right. But I've seen some of your interviews and I like them, man. They they cool. I can say Charlemagne the God. He gives some good interviews. But you know, your job is to start star shit. And uh, of course, you put Kev and Cat to, on a comedy shit. You got two heavy hitters. With a lot of backing. So, this truth that you're looking for, Charlemagne, find out who a, what a comedian is. Find out what Kev is, and Cat, and Mike, and all of us who are fucking comedians. We all live in a fantasy world, nigga. Just like you. But some of our fantasies are real fantasies. See, when you look up the word fantasy, it tells you a lot about people and where they want to go, where they want to live. My fantasy is hopefully this shit will be over in a day. But. My fantasy and other people's fantasies probably ain't the same. So I'm going to end this by saying, K.
Kev, stop it. Tiff, stop it. Cat, stop it. Because y'all the three, the only three can stop it. Me? I'm just red crying. I didn't get 40 million for my last special. I strive for that. Shout out to the Kings. Whoever they may be. And the future Kings. Whoever they may be. And the ones who think they're Kings now be careful. Just people watching your throne. There's a little prince out there right now. Watching your fucking throne. Alright, that's Red Grant signing off. That's all I really want to say.